Hi there, this is Jeff Fletcher coming back with a gameplay video for my first draft. First pick, first pack misses, so pretty pleased about that. Got a pretty good mid-range deck, decent amount of removal, a little bit of a party. It's the party! Something, so we're going to see if that's a thing that doesn't suck, I suppose. It looks alright. To be honest, I haven't found any crazy payoffs, and I'm not actually playing any creatures that look super shitty if they're not in the party. But what I'm hoping is that they just come together a little bit. I'm cool with all this, this uh, avatar thing now, that's, that's decent. So I'm going first. Okay, I've got a couple of could be lands if I want them to be. Um, that's, that's actually nice. I think that card is, those cards even, are probably quite decent. I'll keep the seven. I might well want one of these lands to just be a, these guys to be a land, but I don't know yet, so let's leave it as forest. We've got a rogue and a wizard, so good start. Another one. Yeah, I'm going to commit this here because this feels like a long way off. Oh, they're trying to play the Ruin Crab deck, and that could play into my Lord of Grey, though. So, yeah, I wasn't going to be drawing lands anytime soon. Interesting, interesting. Um... Okay, well, this Black Bloom Rogue is going to level up nicely if my opponent insists on milling me, so that is going to um, give my opponent some shit. Give them something to think about if they insist on trying to mill my whole deck, they can just sod off. Um, I don't know how quickly they can do it. I hope I draw a removal spell to turn that nonsense off, but if I don't, I can at least try and punch their face off, which does seem a reasonable thing to be doing. I've noticed a gate in here, but I didn't see Essence Scatter, so I think that's right. Let's send this in. Menace of two. Yeah, we can actually pull off a pretty decent Thwart the Grave even from next turn, and that will kill their crab actually, most likely. But what's this? So, whenever I land in this battle, it gets, it gets big. Oh, he's got a range walker, there you go. Right, we are going to Thwart the Grave. Oh, fuck me. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh, so it's not big anymore. Alright, alright. So, here we can. Play a land and then pay two for a party member. Okay, yeah, that will work. And then pay three for thwart the grave, and we'll pick on you and you. That's pretty big. Um, I'm going to gain three, that's cool, and I'm going to deal four, so I'm actually going to nuke this mammoth because I want that out of my way. I don't want that ruining the life of my attacking guys. And I think he's going to have trouble spinning me out too quickly in this. Um, I mean, I know he can hit landfall triggers and stuff, so I might only have, this is what, three cards at a clip. So he can hit like up to three land drops this turn and give me really only two turns left, but I think I can do it, hopefully. Yeah, especially with Strength of Solidarity, that's kind of nice. And that this is going to get plus power. That's a nice one. Oh, so we didn't play a land or anything. Okay, okay. I'm just kind of seeing what he'll probably kill a mine, but it actually won't matter. Um. Yeah, I'm going to play the, uh, the Visionary, just grab upon a card, play this, and just swing everything I think is correct. I mean, like, the, the Term Timber Ascetic is the better attacker, but, like, I actually value the Black Balloon Rogue quite a lot as well, so... Is that not an instant? Oh, it's a Sorcery. Right, right, okay. That shit happens. Well, also, given that my opponent didn't mill me for a shitload that turn, which they would have needed to to kill me this turn, because I don't think they can mill, like, they'd have to mill 18, and that's impossible in a turn, so I think that puts me okay over the line. Alright. Interesting. The, the crab turn 1 is always quite tense and limited, because they're never far away from from wrecking you. It is interesting, there's a number of cards that work directly against that strategy in my deck. So, um, it turned on, that double reanimate is freaking sick. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good about that while, uh, 
we're gonna crit the MTGA server here a bit because apparently we're not going back or are we? Yeah, there's been a lot of server problems today. Um, they obviously haven't really thought that actually they'd be running a free release that lots of people would want to do in a world where they can't otherwise play the free release. That hadn't really occurred to a big company like Hasbro. Oh no, they just weren't really smart enough to realize that particular one. So this is the kind of thing that's been happening a lot. It took like an additional two hours to get onto the server in the first place and apparently lots of trouble because they had no idea that a lot of people would want to choose this way to play magic. Interesting. Hmm. So what I might do is stop this video here, huh, which is a bit lame, and then just reboot my client. Alright, thanks a lot. Back in a tick, hopefully, maybe.